Neutrophils are central part of white blood cells. They are first responders when infection invites to the body. They migrate to infection area. They catch or they attach to bacteria. They engulf the bacteria and digest. Here in this image, you can see neutrophil which engulfs the bacteria and eats. This process is called phagocytosis. After phagocytosis, neutrophil will die. This process is called apoptosis or programmed cell death. Another important function of neutrophils is to create extracellular traps. Extracellular traps consist of DNA, fibers, and different proteins which are antimicrobial and microbes are trapped here and microbes are killed. Now let's discuss high neutrophils count and low neutrophils count. High neutrophils count uh, called neutrophilia. The most important cause of neutrophilia is bacterial infection. So when patient comes and you have no information, you only know white blood cell count and neutrophils are high, first you think it's bacterial infection. In 40% of cases, um, high neutrophils are caused by bacterial infections. Pneumonia, skin infections, urinary tract infections, sepsis and uh, other infections can cause high neutrophils. Another important cause is physiological stress. In 20% of cases, physiological stress causes high neutrophils. Such stress are surgery, trauma, and sternal exercise. Inflammation and inflammatory diseases also can cause high neutrophils, such as rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, vasculitis, and malignancies are important cause, but they are much rare. Uh, chronic myelo myelogenic leukemia can cause, and several other type uh, leukemias can cause high neutrophil count. And steroid therapy, corticosteroids can cause high neutrophil count. Now let's touch low neutrophils, which is called neutropenia. Uh, neutropenia usually is caused by viral infections, but we should remember that if acute bacterial infections causes high neutrophils, is if this uh, infection is severe, it can cause low neutrophils, because all neutrophils can be used, and after high neutrophils, it can turn into low neutrophils. So low low, no, low neutrophils can be caused also. Uh, severe bacterial infections, but most common causes are viral infections like influenza, uh, hepatitis, COVID-19, chickenpox, measles, and different types of viruses. Almost any viral infection can cause uh, low neutrophil count. Autoimmune diseases such as uh, systemic lupus erythematosus can cause uh, low neutrophils, and sometimes rheumatoid arthritis also, it depends. So there are several diseases which can cause uh, sometimes high, high neutrophils, sometimes low neutrophils, for example, bacterial infection. In several cases, it causes low neutrophils. Sometimes in case of rheumatoid arthritis, we can have also low neutrophils. Uh, Drug-induced drug uh, neutropenia is very common also uh, because many drugs such as antibiotics, antipsychotics, antithyroid drugs, chemotherapy agents, uh, they, they can suppress neutropies, neutropies. Uh, Aplastic anemia and malignancy. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia can cause low neutrophils, while myelogenic leukemia can cause high neutrophils, Lymphocytic leukemia can cause low neutrophils. That's the difference. Now let's discuss what is norms. Generally, neutrophils are majority of white blood cells. So majority are neutrophils. In, no, in, in normal cases, it should be at least 40%, 40 to 75%. 
of, of white blood cells and it is this percentage when you when you count percentage it means um, relative uh, relative neutrophils and when you count directly per microliter it means absolute neutrophils absolute neutrophils should be to ta from 2500 to 7000 uh, neutrophils per microliter of blood uh, it's absolute it's normal range and relative range is 40 to 75 percent this percent is relative sometimes of course it can be that um, absolute neutrophils can be high and relative neutrophils uh, can be normal or vice versa relative neutrophils can be high and absolute normal or absolute uh, low and uh, relative normal and etc so this combination are common but uh, approach is same approach in any case is same first we think bacterial infection uh, of course of course we should pay attention symptoms patient age a patient uh, history it's very important these details but I mean if Roche estimates if we have no other information about patients what we think if we have detailed information of course we act accordingly that's all thank you very much if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now